So there's actually some good news coming out of Scotland today. It won't surprise you to hear that the SNP, more specifically John Swinney, has had the begging ball out once again and gone to Westminster saying that they need extra money to fund public sector pay rises because the union bosses are threatening to put council workers on strike. Why are the councils going on strike? Because they're having the budgets cut to the absolute bone by the SNP's devolved administration because they're trying to take as much money as they can away from people and centralise it all around Nicola Sturgeon and her cult of absolute morons. The Treasury has turned around to Sweeney and basically told him to get stuffed, and rightly so. This is not because they're refusing to send money to Scotland, it's because Scotland has already had more money per capita than the rest of the UK. UK, including England, of course, which is around 80 odd percent of the UK's population. What have they done with that money? The fact is, nobody really knows. People have tried to find it, the Lords have tried to find it, uh, independent, independent auditors, sorry, Westminster, all of them have tried to find it. Billions of pounds has gone missing in the absolute never ending money pit that is the SNP. They blow it on crap like pretending to have referendums and going to the Supreme Court, when in actual fact they should be spending it on council services and giving the councils increased budgets. But of course they refuse to. They then spend it all on nationalising services that didn't need to be nationalised in the first place, now costing them even more. They spend it on, like I said, nationalising the railways, nationalising shipyards that didn't need to be done. They put over £500 million into that corrupt businessman Gupta, and now of course they're about to lose all that money. Where is it all gone? Nobody knows. It could be as much as four billion pounds that has gone missing, which nobody can find. Dr. Liam Fox, of course, said last year that it was around 2.7 billion, but that figure has increased as more and more has been given. If they want to fund public sector pay rises, then they must fund it themselves and stop spending taxpayers' money, which they're not entitled to do, by the way, on referendums that are never going to happen and will never be legally binding.